this is a really nice place. If you ever come to Serbia, you need to go here. It's just a, a little road with a couple of small towns along it and friend, people are so friendly and uh, the service in this little Villa Sunsi or whatever it's called, they are amazing and uh, really nice rooms with air condition and everything. Not too expensive, a little bit over my budget but really 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 nice people and just before I left now the uh, the girl in the reception, or in the, the waitress and the reception, she just came out and she said, Oh, here is uh, for your trip, uh, just a little bit snacks for it. So you have a long trip, and this is an apple from my garden, organic. So she gave me an apple from her own garden, and uh, really, really friendly. Okay, <laughs> I'm uh, stopping here quickly. Uh, so all these cornfields everywhere along the road is so these cornfields, and there is one thing that I always wanted to do. You see in the movies when they're running in the cornfields. <laughs> so I'm not sure what the farmer would say if I if he knew that I was trotting around in this cornfield, but uh, I'm going to give it a go, and just in case. I have my compass with me. So, are you ready? Let's do this. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> I'm completely surrounded by corn. A little bit more.
and turn. And turn. I could probably navigate with the sun. I think we're going back that way. Let's check on the compass. Yeah. Let's see if we're right. bad <laughs> bucket list tick Look what I just found. Corner of my eye again, saw a sign, a locomotive and a brown sign with the locomotive and in like this on this little road and I was like brown sign normally means like there is something wor worth watching so I just I just turned in and I think it's some sort of open air railway rare, 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 open air railway museum what's wrong with me today i don't know 
Anyway, let's go and have a look. I don't know if I'm supposed to walk here on the course. Um, looks like it's operational. There's some museum wagon like that runs on the Look at this. Wow, cool. Smells fantastic here. <laughs> I think it smells fantastic here. The one over there looks pretty fixed up. These ones, I'm not sure. Here are the winter version. Mm. This probably explains the whole thing, if you know the language. I don't. Nature is taking back. I don't know if I'm allowed in here. But it's easier to beg for, for forgiveness than asking for permission. Very cool. Very cool indeed. <laughs> okay, I just made one of those Facebook live thingies. Because I think this is really interesting. So I'm gonna go around here, have a look here. Look, that's the. Uh, this is the more fixed up one. I think they're running a museum railway here. So, yeah. Look. This looks pretty fixed up, I think. They're probably using this one. And here, handicap friendly. Good. So that was a pleasant uh, surprise to begin time in Hungary. Uh, now I'm gonna push on and um, find somewhere to stay. Uh, it's quite nice weather so maybe I'll find a camping and sleep in my tent. We'll see, we'll see what happens, right? So this is where Betty is sleeping tonight. Originally she wanted me to put her down there but I couldn't be asked to carry the bags so far so I brought her up here and you're not gonna believe this. Are you ready? Okay so this is the uh, room. Have here a little kitchen. Here's where I'm sleeping. Let's have a look. Here is where I'm sleeping, and then we we just uh, go upstairs. Where we find the loo. And I say that is pretty good. It did fly for a white guy. So I'm gonna have a shower. Desperately need a shower. And then maybe I just hang around here in the comfy corner a little bit 
or maybe I just sit at my desk a little bit or use the router here for connecting to internet and watch something uh, on Netflix so you chill okay but you you have to wait in the bag <laughs>